Hi, I'm Ava. I'm 18 years old and I'm addicted to my phone. I'm assuming you are too. In this week's video, I'm doing a self-conducted experiment about 48 hours without social media. And I'm gonna take you through the highs and the lows and all the in-betweens. Here's some background info. According to Instagram, I have a 50 minute daily average, which isn't that bad. But if I take 50 times seven days a week, that's 350 minutes a week on Instagram times 52 weeks in a year. That is 18,200 minutes on Instagram a year. And I want that time back. Let's get a little more personal here. I'm gonna look at my screen time. I do remember at one point I checked a month or two ago and it was seven hours a day. That is insane. My updated screen time for the last seven days, 448 minutes per day. That ain't it. <laughs> we're gonna change that. Okay, so I forgot to turn on my microphone, which is already really upsetting, so we're not gonna talk about it anymore. But today I'm doing this experiment of going 48 hours without social media. Obviously, it's a very big part of my life, as I'm sure it is for you as well. And it was just time for me to take a break, so I documented my whole experience. Here are the rules. One, no social media on my iPad, iPhone, or computer. Two, no announcing that I'm deleting my social media for two days. And that's it. I'm very excited to see what's gonna happen in the next 48 hours, so I'm deleting all of my social media apps, turning on my timer, and the time starts now. Now. I am getting on with my day. Thankfully, I can still listen to music with my Spotify because I don't know what I would do. I would probably just listen to the radio, but that ain't it. On the list, I want to one, get coffee, get some new SD cards because I'm running out of footage, and then I might go shopping tentatively. Let's go. I got my matcha and I also had my first encounter of the day where I attempted to go on Instagram just to fill up the awkward moment. I was waiting for my coffee and I was just sitting there and I felt kind of not awkward. I just always go on my phone even if I have nothing to look at or really do. And I realized I had no social media apps. So instead, one of the baristas was actually from my old high school. Still can't believe I graduated high school. We were just talking story and it was just really honestly nice to have human interaction. The funny part is as soon as I came back to the car, I was like, oh my gosh, I really want to post a picture of it because I really like how pretty it is and I just never drink matcha so I was like, why not? And then I was actually thinking to myself, does anyone really need to know that I'm having matcha? No, it truly doesn't matter whether people know about it or not. I'm having matcha and it doesn't affect me if people know or not. Time to go shopping. <laughs> Things I did, that. I got a microphone for my vlog camera. This is the one that I use on my big camera as well, so. Truly one of the only reasons that I have a phone is social media. I think the only reason I wouldn't be able to go fully without a phone is because my mom calls me way too much. That would not work out. I don't even know what I would use to contact her. A pager? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> my battery life is really staying up there today though because I'm hardly using my phone. I did kind of cheat and yes, it's only been one hour into this. I went on Google and then I went on to YouTube from Google to look up a video review of this versus the Pro Plus. I didn't check my YouTube stats. I didn't look at any other people's channels, but nothing more than that, I promise. Uh, let's go home now. So I somehow found myself at the mall. Time to do some damage. <laughs> Reusable bags only, baby. I'm back home now. I just came back from an appointment. So yeah, <laughs> um, I wanted to show you guys a haul of what I got earlier today. The first place that I went to was Best Buy and I went in there for an SD card. I did not leave my house with the intention of coming back with this much stuff. However, that's just how it is. I went to Macy's and the woman there wrapped it so cute. It looks like a little Christmas present. So I was embarrassed to tell her that I was shopping for perfume for myself because usually when I ask the perfume ladies what they recommend for me, they recommend me really super intense teenagerish scents. But I am a woman now and therefore I need a womanly scent. Basically, I told her that I was shopping for my mom. And she picked out this one. This is the Gabrielle Chanel Paris Eau de Parfum. And now this solidifies the fact that I am indeed a woman. And then after that, I kind of just went even more off. I've always wanted cute little pajamas. I'm the type of person who just throws on a big t-shirt, which I still probably will do. However, on my bougie nights, I got this cute little silky romper little thing and it's so freaking cute. I've been watching a lot of Gossip Girl recently and they always have on the cutest pajamas. So, and then they also had a really good deal on panties. So I got a bunch of those. I don't think you need to see the specific and then finally I went to Sephora. I picked up the Kush Grow House Lash and Brow Serum. This says that it's a daily serum that boosts and nourishes hair for longer, full of being lashes and brows. Got this very pretty color from the Sephora Collection lipstick line. And then I got my mom this little YSL Black Opium Rollerball perfume because she is obsessed with perfume, but I know that she doesn't have a travel one. And that's my haul. I saved three bags by using this reusable bag. So I'll link this one down below. They're super great to have. It was definitely nice being busy today. I think if I was just 
just home all day, I probably would have been itching for my phone to just look at something and be not be bored. I was listening to a podcast and I wanted to figure out another podcast that I would really like. And then I thought, oh, perfect. I can just put a little question thing on my Instagram story and people will help me find a new podcast that they like. But I couldn't do that. That's such a stupid problem. I just was really looking for a new podcast that would help me stay woke. I hate that I use that term, but I really want to find an interesting podcast that just teaches me a lot and is very insightful and I'm just thirsty for cool and new and insightful information. So if you know of a good podcast, let me know down below. That is the little update. It is 11.08 p.m. right now. I'm in my little outfit. It's so cute. I've just been sitting at the computer editing some merch pictures that I took today. I've been working on editing those. I really like how they turned out. And then I'm also trying to write a caption for it as well. It's getting to that point in night where I'm procrastinating everything that I need to do and I just want to go on my phone. I keep forgetting that I can't look, but it's also really nice just because this is around the time that I get really antsy and then I start looking at Snapchats and then I see people going out and doing stuff. And that's when I start to feel bad because I usually stay in at night. I have really gotten over my FOMO though. I used to have really bad FOMO. If you don't know what that is, it's fear of missing out. But it is the end of the night. I'm so freaking happy with my choice to do this challenge because I didn't realize how much I relied on my phone and how much free space I filled with going on social media for no reason. I just had a really good day. I was with my best friend for a couple of hours and then I also hung out with my boyfriend, which was really nice. And it just showed me that I can be happy without social media and really be present in the moment. So that's been really great. I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be very weird. Oh, it's 11.11. Anyways, sometimes I'll literally lay in bed at 10.30 and I will go on my phone till 12.30 just going on Twitter and into the deep end of YouTube, which is very interesting to do. But anyways, I'm curious to see how fast I'll fall asleep because I know it's not good to have blue light or screen time before you go to sleep. Apparently it hinders your sleep performance and it makes you fall asleep slower. For some reason, I've had the weirdest urge to play Best Fiends. For some really weird reason, I've been addicted to it all day and I've gotten through so many levels. I'll be done after this one though. I just wanted to check in for the day. So far, so good. I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning! It's morning one of this challenge. Right now it's nine. I usually wake up at around eight-ish, but that's because I set an alarm. But I'll usually stay in bed till 9.30 just because I'm scrolling through my phone. Since Holly's time zone is super behind everyone else's, that's why I just spend so much time on social media in the morning, which definitely isn't the best thing. However, we are two hours away from being 24 hours into this challenge. There we go, right there. Let's get into my day. I put on my face mask. Right now I'm writing my to-do list for the day. We are making pancakes. Probably I'm just making pancakes because mm. you always kind of just sit down while I cook. Let's get started. Let's, let's get, get started. started. Ew. Yay, let's get started. Ow. <laughs> Cooking and ranting because then you're like, beat the eggs. We are using Betty Crocker Complete Pancake Mix. The best. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what kind of... So, we're going to... Should I put on my apron? God. Yes, I should. Yay, now I'm a real cook. Swipe up and buy my girlfriend's merch. Okay, let's get cooking. Oh, look what I did. I already felt it cooking. <laughs> oh, oh gosh, I got it all over the floor. What? Man, we haven't even started yet. Oh, 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 oh. Yay. Oh, wait, 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 Chocolate chip pancakes, turkey bacon, and blackberries! What I did want to say was that when we were cooking, I had a very strong urge to want to like Snapchat it. But you have to live in the moment sometimes. Yeah, I know. It literally won't make a difference if people know about it or not. And I had so much fun doing it. Because usually we're lazy and we just go out. That was fun though. Also, you cook about pancakes for like, to feed about 10 people. Kids! I would have been no. so distracted if I was like, I need to get a disco! Sun just set, so I decided to take a nice walk around the neighborhood. While I was on my walk, I realized that I had a brand new picture due the next day. So once I got home, I took a shower and then I looked up some makeup inspiration. Did my makeup, I just did a fun red lip look, set up my equipment, and took the pics. 
I am finally done shooting the pictures. Connor helped me with them and originally we were using my big camera and it took us like 45 minutes. Didn't get a single shot that we liked and then he whips out his phone camera and we used his phone and it turned out so good. We got that done right now. I'm really tired and it's so weird because this is usually around the time I get tired, like 10.45. I'm a grandma. <laughs> I used to be able to stay up till three. Like it was nothing. I'm going to listen to my body tonight and head to sleep. I'm officially 36 hours. We are almost there. To be honest, I don't even care. I kind of want this little hiatus to last forever, but it's just been really nice. It hasn't even been a struggle at all. Just kidding, I wish. <laughs> Good night, love you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at 47 hours and 58 minutes. We're two minutes away from hitting 48 hours without social media. I want to talk about my experience with this. I feel like I have insight and knowledge and I feel like this is a challenge that not many people want to do just because it is kind of hard initially thinking about it. Originally I wanted to do a 24 hour challenge but I thought that would be too easy so that's why I did 40 hours and to be honest I really think I could go a whole week. It was so nice having a break. I did cheat once. That was just going on YouTube to look at the review for the microphone. However, I don't think that counts because other than that I didn't see anything. <laughs> Countdown 10! <laughs> Yay, 48 hours. <laughs> I did it! Oh my gosh, that was so glorious. Now that I have completed this challenge, to be honest, I really would love to make it a whole week challenge. Maybe that's something I'll do in the future. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. My purpose going into it was honestly, I just really needed a break. Social media was not making me happy. If something's not making me happy, I'm not gonna pursue it and do it. But the fact that it's technically my job and I have to be on social media, it was kind of a reason for me to stay on it, obviously. And I do love it, don't get me wrong, it was amazing, but there's just been a period of time where I haven't been enjoying it and that's simply because once I start something I just need to finish it so if I'm on social media I need to like see everything see what everyone's doing I'm the type of person I do compare myself to other people believe it or not I feel like it's just a default human personality everyone kind of compares themselves to each other now what I learned from this I learned that I can exist without social media before I used to be like oh I'm at the beach I have to like post it like I have to the past two days have honestly been so relaxing I've just been spending time with people that I love I think that I can be happy without social media because there's things that I've been working on that have nothing to do with it that I'm very excited to tell you guys about but yeah it's just good to know that I can have a life outside of all of this privacy is such a nice thing I don't need to post about everything and I don't need validation by posting things I think moving forward I'll definitely have better boundaries for myself like not spending an hour and a half in the morning looking at my phone I don't need to do that that's not healthy and also being on my phone on Twitter for two hours before I go to bed a personal goal for myself moving forward is I want to keep my screen time below three hours that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you stay till this point in the video first of all you're amazing and second of all comment down below your screen time let's just get honest here here's today's bread wave of the week you guys are amazing you guys are the best I love you so much I don't even know my passwords <laughs> that's concerning bye